Good morning. Thanks for spending some time with me this morning. I know uh, I've been on and on with it this morning. <laughs> so I'm back again with the flip through. Oh, and I put my comment section on so you can so you can talk to me. Okay. Let me see what I got going on here. This one is big and chunky and gorgeous. Look at this. So gorgeous. Kiki Vanessa Johanning made this one. I don't even know why I'm putting it on here because it matches, but I'm sad. Kiki. Oh, she's got one of her paintings rolled up on the inside. See, hers are super special. I love it. So anyways, and this is Tsunami Rose that I glossy accented. And a page from a vintage book. And then a locket piece down here. And this is all about the corsets. So I love this one. Alright, let's see how big this monster is. It is. Well, it's over 10. And a smidge over 7. So it's pretty big. A little bit bigger than normal. And then the vintage lace on the spine is gorgeous. And then the lace on the back. And then I've put two holes in. Hi. Oh, thanks, Susan. I appreciate you coming to watch. Um, eh, it's a holiday. I got stuff in my shop and I've been finishing and working so hard. I figured I would come and show you guys what the deal is. So, anyways, this big, huge boho piece was made by Vanessa Kiki at Johanning. It's got one of her paintings on the inside. So, I really love it. And then, uh, so here's the front of the journal. It's big and heavy. And um, the seam binding is from my shop. And this one is all about the vintage corsets and vintage ladies. And it's a hardcover. And I think... This magnets like this this must be oh yeah this is from Kristen Kristen made this one from group so I put it on the very front because it's pretty it says vintage ladies and it has all our favorite stuff in it it's really cute let me see if I should close up a little is that better I'll try it and see like this for a few few minutes let me get my chair here and then we can see and, of course, I always like the pink roses, you know me. So it's got the dollies in the front, you know, with all the... And it's made out of one of my time cards, but I just love it. So it's got the little dollies and the dress forms and beautiful stuff. These are probably from Sheila Gingrich with her... Or maybe mine, I really don't know, boho stuff. And just really cute. She really put some really cute little things in here and just cute little stuff little pocket here to put on to a little envelope and it's just got on and on with all the stuff look at all the little hats inside here here's the lamp sitting and then another little envelope with the lady inside I think that peach envelope I wonder if she got that from my shop it looks so familiar and then here's the Here's the clothes. So the dolls here, the clothes are here, and the hats are here. So that's just super cute. It's got all the cute little things inside. It's just adorable. So I had to put it on the front. Front inside cover. I just want to make sure I don't hurt my huge boho thing. All right, let me see where I'm at here. Let me see. If we can see. So we got a little, my little pink chevron stripe bag, and this is Tsunami Rose. I think this, I don't know if this does. No, maybe not. I was thinking it flips over or something here. Something does something here. I don't know. We'll have to look and see. <laughs> but it says sit a spell on the little tab up here. It's really cute, and I punched it with my puncher, and it's got some really cute tags inside and this opens up I know it does I just don't know what I did here oh it's a magnet okay so there's a magnet under here I forgot 
and it opens up and then you can open up the rest of it. So coffee stain, here's my punch, and here's this vintage lady and some little tag spots. And then this opens up some more. And here's some like lotion and one of my one of my slides with my roses in it. And this has got wax on it. And this is a cute little well, it was supposed to look like a locket, and you open it up, and there's the picture of the baby. You know, we made these one time in a video. And then some of my old ephemeras in here. And this is like a double-sided envelope. I think I have a video on this. So that's kind of fun. And then in the back is one of my sewn envelopes. You can get these in my shop. They're sewn all around and have the stuff on the top there. So this just kind of shuts like this. That's cute. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> And then this one's really pretty. Ooh, I forget who made this tag. Oh, it's not on there. But anyways, it says romance, and it has the little dress, and this velvet. Ooh, it's gorgeous, I'm telling you. And I love all the tulle and cheesecloths and all the little stuffs, you know. So I had to put it with one of my Tiffany envelopes, I think. Um, Kathy made this one, I think. I can't remember. And then this is vintage ads with some reclaimed lace. And then on the dot pan, I coffee stained it. So I love it. So it looks really pretty. I love this next one. It's really fun because I found these little, um, look at how short and little they are. <laughs> Aren't they cute little files? So I put like bills and stuff in there, only vintage. Like, look, here's a canceled check from 1928. It's $8.65 and just put stuff in there, you know, just little things, different stuff. I don't know what this is, a receipt for something, an agriculture thing. But anyways, I just thought that was neat. And then here's the ad and, sh and the music is feeling pretty. And there's the ad for one of my really old books that I have. So anyways, I just thought that was fun, like a little bill keeper or something for the ephemera, you know. I just thought it was cool. So I just laid it in like that. So that's kind of fun. And then, you know, on and on with the roses. I just love the roses. This is a die cut from Tsunami Rose that I love. It's a puff chair. And then one of her, you know, printouts. This is a big piece of washi tape that's got vintage ads on it. And then one of Tsunami Rose flowers. And then I just, this is a big, a big ticket. I've got a ticket punch. And then I just stamped it and then sewed some lace on the top for the little, for the tag. And then, of course, our little rosy queens here. And then I don't speak French, but, you know, it's got to say something charming, I'm sure. <laughs> you know, and then I punched right here. And then up here is the tab with the roses. It's kind of a big book, but there's tabs up here with the roses that look really pretty. And then... I like how all the pages are different size, and this is another one that's kind of short. It's got one of my cute clips on it. Um, I've got a video on these. I think these were Corey Damon's. I forget now, but but anyways, cute little vintage fabric on top, and the pin, and the pink buttons, and the pink dress form, and you know the vintage ad, and then it has a tuck spot right here, and the vintage book page in the back. It's just cute, you know. But I do have a video on that. And then just script stamping and just a little tuck spot here where I put some more vintage ephemera stuff. I just love the vintage ephemera. So, and we collect stamps. So I put in a few pages of some stamps that are vintage really old. And then I put in some rub-ons. This is just like a little spot right here. And then I've got some ads, you know. Vintage ads. That's fun. Just some more um, receipts. And I put lots of vintage stuff in here. Vintage papers. Here's the elementary school. Remember how you used to learn how to write your ABCs when you were little? I put that on here. And here's another receipt for $11 from California. I don't know what it is. I forget. 
And then here's just a tuck spot where I put another journaling card you can write. And it's gorgeous. I love how pretty it is. And then here's a vellum envelope that's beautiful with pretty stuff inside. It's got vintage lace and one of the girls made it. I didn't do it, but it says favorite things up here and it's the tuck spot. And it has blue cheesecloth and stuff. And then this page is just, you know, full of stuff. You know what I mean? It's just full of stuff. So this flips over and it's got these and these little glass bottles and the tags and just stuff and stuff. Look at this stuff and this stuff and these all unfold. These are all letters that unfold. Here's another letter that unfolds. And then here's um, on the top is a coin envelope and it's full of, you know, stamps and things and stuff. And it's just got, you know, stuff and stuff. <laughs> All the stuff that we like. And then it's got a fabric hinge on it. Um, memoirs of a poodle. I love the vintage ladies in dresses playing with the doggies. And I just made a little fabric hinge. And then I put the little doggy tag in here. Somebody sent me this. Oh, Sandy Pierce made these. And I just thought it was so cute. It's got a little doggy and a bone. And she's got the little doggies. And... And it says side by side. I just love that. You know, I love my doggies. So so I just thought that was cute. And I put it in a little flower. And then I stamp. So you got a place to write. And it just keeps opening up. And you know how I make my journals, you know. Here's another little card. Here's a pocket. And here's some more, you know, receipts and tags and tags and glass bottle pockets. And just on and on with the Franken pages, you know. Well, this actually is the middle, so both of these fold out. But I have this one clipped because there's stuff on the other side. But these actually both fold out. And then this one comes. And then I've got the cute little girl on this side. I love this one because it opens up like this and you can see her under. And then the letter is in the back. So this one's really cute for the tag. I love that. So adorable. I'm going to have to remember that. I hope I do. This is kind of interesting because I've got a matchbook sitting in here in the tuck spot, an old vintage matchbook. I've got another little folio thing that opens up and is interesting. You know, I don't have to show every little thing, but there's a little fan because, you know, you want to have a few surprises. It's listed for sale in my shop. Here's the other tuck spot. Here's another fold out piece. It un comes undone and folds out. I have a pulper paper folding video if you need to watch one. More ephemera and more receipts and more of the paper and the receipts and receipts. These are all vintage, you know, papers. This is interesting. I like it. I like the library card. I like the tab there. This is the inside of a book from the library that they were getting rid of all these books, so I nabbed it. Um, and then I punched it and tabbed it and made a hinge and then here's some more railroad receipts and then here's the place you can journal and then I love the stamp of the vintage lady and this is clipped up here with some more stuff and this is waxed and it just goes on and on this is beautiful look I just love this this was one of the gals' moms from our Mother's Day from our Mother's Day one of our Mother's Day events and then I love this bag. It's so pretty. I just love it. And it says a fortunate find because that's like a locket or something. And I just love it. It's really pretty. And it has, you know, all kinds of stuff inside of this big bag. It's probably too heavy even actually. But it has this cool little thing and it undoes. And it's a double-sided pocket that opens up. It's really cool. Like we can go on and on for days with it, you know. <laughs> You know what I mean? All this stuff. And then I put the mirror on here. I love this page with the pink. And I put Titanic right there. And there's something pretty inside of here because it flips open like this. I put Titanic and she's getting married. Look, and it flips open and it has a cute thing inside. It's because it's kind of like, I don't know, historic, you know, the Titanic. And all that stuff and then I put the mirror there from seven gypsies and then this was another Mother's Day 
entry that we had and here's all about the lady and uh, just it's just so precious and then here's the little hearts I love I mean the roses and again just more ephemera more tabs I mean this took me so long to make <laughs> let your hair down with the roses this is a bag here a topper one of my envelopes it flips open like there's just so much going on here this is such an awesome journal <laughs> and I love this little piece look at this this is cute this is airmail right here and you open it up and there's a little note inside with the birdie look so cute shoot I put a lot of work into this I didn't realize I <laughs> this is a good one so I haven't looked at this one in a long time and then the back is this is cute and they both open up like this and then one of my envelopes and then this little purse it's really cute and it's got stuff and stuffs you know what I mean so cute thanks for coming in to see I just wanted to show this off again I did it I finished it a little while ago but I don't know I just wanted to show it again today because it's just so pretty and it's big and it's a big gator mouth so I had to show it off and then I have one of these in my shop too that's left over from one of my you know excursions that I get on these jags of making and this was when I did all those um, envelopes at Christmas time <laughs> when I was sending all those out and that's so I just have it hanging over here and the lace and stuff there we go and just really just layers and layers and the pink and she's cute and that's wedding dress and this is full of it's got a little journal inside it's a skinny journal made from my um these are in my shop the flashcards it's just cute you know and this is i think rose gold seam binding in my shop and i layered up the doilies on the spine and it's just cute you know it's got little stuff in it and all the stuff on the edges and flips and cute little things and the birdies and it's got ripped edges and it's just cute you know it's got the keys and gesso and you know just just a cute little thing this is family and it's got a little flower and this is one of my die cuts and that's a floppy thing and here's one of my um snippets you know so it's just cute it has one of those and it has oh it has a lot of stuff in it oh i love these pink oh look how pretty that is tiffany envelopes with the gilding polish on and the pink can't believe i ever got rid of that and then it's got floral and little tiffany tiffany stuff inside this is cute Here's another Tiffany envelope, which I love. This one's got pearls and Tiffany and Company, and it flips open and has more Tiffany and Company I did with gesso and stamping and pink. That's cute. And I love the Tiffany and Company. That's glaze on here. And here's the front with the velvet. Ooh, it's really pretty. <laughs> and then it's glazed too. I love that. And then it has one of my pretty bags with the fainting couch. And I think those are Sue Olson velvet. And then it has just one of my other my envelopes on the inside. It's pretty. That's gesso and stuff. And then it has, I think this is waxed. Yeah, waxed vintage lady tag so that's kind of fun that goes inside that goes inside here so it has an envelope in here a couple Tiffany envelopes here and a skinny journal and the big pocket so that's kind of fun that's kind of fun well thanks for coming around ladies I appreciate your thumbs up and your recommendations and stuff and um We'll see you in group, okay? Bye.